Have you ever seen a person with a stroke that couldn't talk? Try it again. But could sing? I'm Peter. I'm Peter. This is one of the few examples that illustrates how music has power. According to NPR.org, humans are hardwired to respond to music. If you've watched other videos explaining the Catholic Mass, they point out that singing at the beginning of the Mass serves to gather everyone into worship. But that's not just the portion where we sing during Mass. We also sing during the Kyrie eleison, the Gloria, the Psalms, before the Gospel is read, during the Offertory, during Communion, and at the end. As we sing during Mass, it's important to remember that music has the power to connect our human hearts with the Divine Heart of Jesus. Music has the power to help us feel God's presence and to heal. Take this example. Here are some popular lines from Amazing Grace. Let's read together. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Now let's sing it together. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Feel the difference? By the way, did you know that during the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano, the Eucharist turned into a heart muscle tissue? Talk about having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Jesus. The last point we would like to make is music has the power to help us remember. Have you ever memorized some songs in school to help you remember something very important? In the Old Testament, singing helped them remember God's Word. And when they do this, God's Word takes roots not just in their minds, but in their hearts as well. In modern times, we may not realize this, but a lot of praise and worship lyrics are derived from words from the Bible. It is helpful to recall God's words from a day-to-day -day struggle. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, it talks about the Word of God as the sword of the Spirit. When we're feeling down, singing and remembering God's words can provide the encouragement we need, and we can be reassured that God will keep His promises, just as He states in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. So if you ever struggled singing with an unfamiliar tune in church like Mr. Bean, just offer it as a pleasing sacrifice to God because like St. Augustine once said, to sing is to pray twice. Music has the power to connect, to feel, to heal, to remember, and to encourage. And as we journey through the Eucharistic revival, let the power of music guide us back to the heart of worship. I am good. Thank you. How are you?